The dynamic Pac-Man returns to the boxing ring on November 22nd in Macau, China. Manny Pacquiao is one of the most famous athletes in the world. His opponent? Former kickboxer Chris Algieri, a relative unknown but unbeaten in 20 career fights. The boxers have spent the past two weeks traveling over 27,000 miles to promote their upcoming bout. But after the Smiles and Pleasantries tour, the gloves go back on. I'm joined by Manny Pacquiao and Chris Algieri. Now, Manny, what motivates you to continue boxing? Um, I love boxing. Boxing is my passion. That's why I continue um, keep on fighting. Um, and Chris, for you, this is obviously the biggest fight of your life. Um, you know, tell people why should they think you have a chance to beat Manny Pacquiao? Um, I'm an undefeated champion. You know, um, I'm, I'm a very hard worker and I'm a just mentally confident person. So I'm really looking forward to, you know, showing my best on, on November 22nd. Now, Manny, you're, you're a, you're a mild-mannered, nice guy. You're smiling all the time. How do you develop that anger to beat the guy sitting next to you? Well, um, when I step on the, into the ring, that's different, you know. Um, I have, uh, I, I need to do my job. I have to do my job to fight. Oh. And, but uh, after the fight, outside the ring, you know, nothing personal. Now, Chris, do you channel that? As, um, I mean, how, what is your thought about being the other guy? I'm, I'm relatively unknown. Um, you know, we've all, that, that's just the nature of the sport. Manny was the other guy at one point and, and worked his way up to where he is now. And uh, I'm in that process. Now, Manny, do you, everyone, every interview you do, people bring up Floyd Mayweather. What, what, what is, what do you say to you? Floyd Mayweather, I've been bothered about that uh, question many times from the fans. It's up to him. I think he doesn't want to fight. Now, do you want to fight? Of course. Um, since before I, I won that fight, I told them my line is, uh, my line is uh, 24 hours and seven days a week, but they, nobody's calling. Both of you guys said, mentioned you guys eat five times a day? Sometimes more. So how many times have you eaten already so far today? What time are we at? I've had three. Three meals already? Oh, wow. And, and what have you eaten? Uh, I got a shake this morning, you know, just a, a quick protein shake. Um, I had uh, some eggs and some toast, and then I had some, some fruit prior to this. Wow. And, and Manny, what have you eaten so far today? Rice and beef and oatmeal. Okay. In, in already so far this morning. And then after we're done, what, what, are, what else are you going to eat? Same beef, rice. Okay. Asparagus. For fans tuning in, Chris, so for t fans tuning in on November 22nd, mm -hmm. what should they expect to see? An exciting fight. You've got two uh, hungry, fast fighters. Um, we, we're, both, we're both champions in different weight classes, and, and we're coming together to meet, which is, which is a rare thing in the sport. You know, we've got two current world champions um, who are, who are going to battle it out, and you have two fighters who are fast and throw a lot of punches. So it's, it's a guaranteed exciting fight. Now, are you, uh, what is your approach going into the fight? How, how will you approach this fight? You know, this is, um, you know, the world's going to be watching. So this is, this is my chance to, to uh, steal the show and, and, and to go out there and, and um, you know, and just, and just put on a great performance. So how do you beat Manny Pacquiao? I've got I've to be Chris Algieri. You know, I just got to be myself. Um, I'm not uh, concerned so much about, you know, what Manny's going to do. He's going to worry about what he's going to do. I'm, I'm going to worry about what I'm going to do, and I'm going to go out there and, and, and be myself and um, tell you the truth, you know, the guy that shows up on November 22nd, I don't really know who, who I'm going to be at that point. You know, training camp changes us as a fighter, and I've never prepared for Manny Pacquiao before. So um, who shows up on November 22nd, you know, could, could be a surprise for many. So Manny, how do you beat Chris Algieri? I have, um, I have to do a lot of uh, strategy and techniques. It's not my first time to fight a taller guy like him, so it's not new. I'm, I will, I know what I'm going to do in training, and especially in the fight. Uh -huh. And and what what do you what do you do? Do you bring in taller sparring partners? Yeah, we have a um, sparring partner from Korea and from from the states. So the approach going in, are you are you looking just to win? Are you looking to knock him out, or what? Do you, what do you, what's your approach? Well, uh, my focus is to uh, to train hard, and you know, if the knockout comes, um, will if the knockout comes, will come. Um, depends. The most important things is uh, you need to be uh, hundred percent in the ring and focus 100% condition, physically, mentally, and most of all, spiritually. And, and Chris, to me, you know, you guys seem to be friends. 
How, how do you how do you enter a, a fight like this where you know you've been traveling around with this guy for twenty seven thousand miles? How do you focus on business? You know, th this is a business. This is work. This trip is is not a uh, we're not vacationing together. You know, this is this is a work trip. We're here to promote the fight. We're we're here to uh, uh, promote ourselves and, and the sport itself. And then, uh, like I said, when, once we start training camp, we're not going to see each other again for the next couple months. So um, friendship goes aside, or, or whatever kind of buddy-buddy situation we've we've been in is, is no more. You know, we're going to go to training camp. We're going to train hard, and uh, we're going to be focused on on beating each other uh, over the next couple months. And and come fight night, you know, it, it's it's all business.